It started the first time most of us looked at a map, or read a storybook, or saw an old movie. That sense of wonder and awe at what was across the ocean. Those countries whose names evoke images of castles and knights, chalets and wineries, quaint villages and pastoral countrysides. What were the people like that lived there? Were they like us? How did they dress? What did they eat and drink? What sort of things did they make? And what did they do to have fun? So you kept looking, but the storybook lands across the sea seemed further away than ever. Yet the sense of wonder still remained about what it would be like to walk down narrow streets through an ageless Italian village, relax at the plaza adorned with classical statues. The red tiled roofs and plastered walls smile contentedly under the Mediterranean sun. And you share the cool shade of a Roman archway with elaborate reliefs and ornamental columns. But even as time went on, your curiosity remained. The sight of a suit of armor would send your imagination cantering over the bridge of a medieval castle, under the guard tower's watchful eyes, and into a world of pageantry and ceremony, marching by with banners flying, an ancient festival of medieval fun. Or the sound of bells chiming in the clock tower would transport you to the town square of a charming Elizabethan hamlet, strolling along quaint shops lining cobblestone streets. Old English signs hang near leaded glass windows and luxuriant flower boxes. Merchants, minstrels, guards and tradesmen all go about their business beneath buildings of half-timber construction. And you stand dwarf beside a magnificent draft animal. But your inquisitive spirit remained unsatisfied, and it only took a look at a German beer stein. And you're with a couple thousand of your closest friends inside a Bavarian-style fest house. Jolly Burgermeister celebrated the long tables, and traditionally dressed folk dancers seemed to sing and dance like characters on a glockenspiel. The throng feasts on a wealth of German food and drink and all appear as happy as the decorative frescoes that celebrate above ornamental woodwork. After a while, it seemed the day would never come when you would see any of those faraway places for yourself. To sit in the sun on the left bank in a small French cafe, watching the passers-by as you sample some of the local delicacies, whiling away the afternoon amid the graceful simplicity of the provincial architecture, but now the old countries were never so close because everything you've just seen is right here in America. It's Bush Gardens, the old country in historic Williamsburg, Virginia. Eight faithful reconstructions of English, French, German and Italian settings from different eras in history. Visitors are always impressed by the enormous attention paid to detail. Lights both inside and out radiate with authenticity. Every doorway has its own unique latch handle, door pull, hinges or gate. Everything from the windows on the shops to the signs that hang above them to even the chimneys on the roofs has been painstakingly constructed to be functional, authentic and aesthetically pleasing. But there's more to Bush Gardens than just a visual experience. For the youngsters, there are special fun areas where they can frolic in exciting but safe games and rides. Or there's the Children's Zoo, 
filled with gentle llamas, goats, and baby animals you can pet. Then if you get tired of walking, why not relax on a peaceful cruise up the Rhine River? Or chug along amid plush accommodations on the Balmoral Castle locomotive. Take a jaunty drive in a 1913 Stutz Bearcat. Or travel conveniently from country to country in our futuristic sky ride. And for those of you who want a little more excitement, It's a dazzling array of roller coasters, carousels, and thrilling rides, like the Loch Ness Monster, one of the world's biggest roller coasters, or the Big Bad Wolf, hanging suspended from an overhead track as you hurtle past church steeples and weave in and out through a Bavarian village. In all, there are 36 rides to challenge young and old alike. And after so much excitement, you're bound to work up an appetite. And whether you're in a sidewalk cafe or our fabulous fest house, you'll sample authentic food from all the countries represented. From veal parmesan and spaghetti, to blueberry cheesecake, bratwurst, to black forest cake, or delicious barbecue. Bush Gardens offers a culinary selection to satisfy the most epicurean of tastes including imported delicacies from Italy and France. After you've eaten your fill, digested watching any one of the wide variety of live performances taking place daily on stages and in the streets, the spectacular lineup of shows feature top young performers from all over the country. And where can you stay when you visit Bush Gardens? Among the many fine accommodations nearby, you'll find the fabulous King's Mill on the James. Enjoy luxurious accommodations that sit astride two championship 18-hole golf courses, pro shop, tennis, and restaurant, all situated along the scenic James River. Convenient to Bush Gardens, historic Williamsburg, Yorktown, and Jamestown. So stop dreaming about faraway places. See them right here at Bush Gardens, the old country, in Williamsburg, Virginia.